Friends, what is the task that the church is sent out into the world to do? Well, it's to preach the gospel, which makes disciples, and to gather those disciples into churches that they might worship God now and into eternity for his glory. That's our task, isn't it? And that principle has, has been what's guided Narrabri Anglican to uh, make partnerships with mission agencies and to, to choose a, a people group to pray for. And so in order to keep our focus on the preaching of the gospel as the main game, uh, we've organised our mission partnerships uh, into some uh, tiers, three tiers. Now, in the first tier, we have selected five of our mission partnerships who uh, focus on the ministry of the word as their main game. Not that other of the partnerships don't, but we've chosen five who do. And uh, we've chosen them for, uh, to uh, focus on for our mission spots um, each month and uh, for a prayer, corporate prayer. And also, if you're a Bible study leader, I will have asked, the mission team will have asked you, uh, would you link up with one of these five uh, partnerships for regular focused prayer um, as a church? Uh, so those m partnerships are um, ones that you'll know of. Uh, so first is the uh, Praying for the Manang Kabao. Now they're um, round about here, uh, the Manang Kabao. And uh, so we're praying for them and we've also linked up, linked up with a couple who are working with them. They are an unreached people. Uh, we might say that they're gospel poor. The, the, the gospel is not preached um, very widely or very often um, in that place. Now another uh, partnership we have is uh, working with... Um, Unreached people in Cambodia. Um, there's lots of different unreached people groups there. Um, now the Applebee's, uh, we work, they're working with them. We're praying for the Applebee's, uh, who you'll know. Um, now uh, over at UNE in Armadale, we are praying for the work of the gospel being preached to people from all over the place. They're coming from here and from over here and from over here, all coming to university at Armadale. And so we're praying for Grace um, as she works with a team to preach the gospel to them. And wow, they might even take the gospel back to their own place and keep preaching it over there. Our partnership with CMS, now we're told we're getting a, a new link couple and they may well be working somewhere around about here. Uh, so the, in, a, in an area which is also gospel poor. Now, there's another gospel poor area in our own uh, patch, and that's at Lightning Ridge, so just here. Uh, so we're, we're uh, praying for the Langmeads and uh, their work amongst the people of Lightning Ridge, uh, where there are many people who have not yet heard the gospel, and certainly many who have not turned to Jesus Christ in faith. The Missions Committee uh, team have uh, put together this document, uh, which we'll, uh, you can print off from the website here, uh, and... Uh, that will give you a bit more of an idea of how we've organised our mission so that we can keep that focus on our, our task that God has given us. Why don't we pray about that now? Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have given your church the task of taking the gospel to others. The gospel has come to us. You give us the task of taking it to others. Uh, Lord, may we be diligent in that. May we be good at praying for those mission partnerships that we have established uh, that they might continue to preach the gospel in their area, that we might uh, preach the gospel in our area, and we might uh, work together with them uh, that the great commission uh, that give, Jesus has given us might continue to go on in our lifetimes for the glory of your dear son Jesus the King and for your own glory, Father, uh, all by the power of your Spirit. And uh, we pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen.